Hi, I'm Lori Allred. Welcome to Inspired by Pinterest, where I surf Pinterest every week and look at different pin boards and pins that crafty people like you have put on there and bring them to life. And today I have my cute daughter back here helping me and I appreciate her coming. Thanks, Emma. Mm -hmm. So we're actually, as you can see, we're going to have a lot of fun with crayons. And these are kind of all the rage. I see them on Pinterest all the time, don't you? Yes. These cool drizzled crayon art. And I, I can't wait. So I created actually a board called um, Crayons. Clever, huh? Don't you think? Yep. But first I wanted to talk a little bit about, I had a reader, write, or viewer I should say, write in and ask why I'm always looking at my iPad. And I thought I'd give you a little heads up for those of you who've been following the show for the last 12 episodes. I reference my um, iPad a lot because I want to be sure to give credit to the bloggers and the crafty people out there that have created these ideas because that's where I'm getting them from. And I want to make sure that you know that those where they came from. So I have such a bad memory. She would tell you I'm old, but I'm not. So I have to reference my iPad, but actually in all secretness, um, I'm really pinning during the show because I can't get away from Pinterest. So I'm really not, but I could you if I wanted were. to. I should, huh? <laughs> so let's, uh, let me show you a few of the pins that I really like that it kind of inspired me to give this a try. And Emma helped me with quite a few of our samples here. So that's why I've invited her to join us. She's gonna help us do today's segment. So the first one I thought was really clever was just a fun kids craft. They took, again, their um, moldable, what do we call these, cupcake trays or whatever. Ice trays. And took old crayons that they chopped up and just put them in here in the oven for 200, at 230 degrees for about 15 minutes and it melts your crayons into the shape of your moldable tray. I thought that was cool, huh? Yes. Even her 16 year old brother was asking if he could have some. So I thought that was a lot of fun and that was from a pin. I didn't actually have a link to that one so I can't give anyone credit. So thanks for whoever created that. The next one is actually a really cool idea with shavings, crayon shavings on wax paper, and they made these really cool kind of translucent um, hanging hearts, and I thought that was cool. That was off the skiptomylou.com um, website, which I think is really a fun website to go to for ideas. But my all-time favorite, and I know you like this one, is the heart shape, where they take the crayons and put them in a heart shape and then melt them. And that actually was also, sadly, another one where they didn't have a link back to the original source. So be sure when you're pinning on Pinterest that you link back to the original source so those people get credit, because they've done amazing jobs and inspired us all. We want to make sure that we give them credit. But today's tutorial was the best tutorial I found for this, was actually um, a really awesome one, and I can't even say the gal's name, Meg. Dirksen.typepad.com and she walks through all of the questions you might have in doing this and so this was our first attempt. Emma helped me do this. Actually yes. she did most of it and I thought this was just so amazing and it was fun to do, don't you think? Yes. And we had this extra space so I added the really cool vinyl stain at the end and I just think that would be really awesome. Where are we going to hang it? My room. Your <laughs> her room. She should get it, right? This was another fun one I was playing around with. This is just a small canvas I had, and I wanted to see, well, I was actually trying to cover up a mistake, but I wasn't going to tell you that, and I always tell them. But I actually kept the heat on these until the crayons actually fell outside of the, their covers down to the bottom, and then just kind of froze in time. Isn't that cool? Yes. I think that's going to look really cool on a shelf in my office, not your room. Okay. You're okay with that? Yes. So I did want to talk really quick before we have Emma show us how to put this one together. A lot. The, my main question was, can I use my heat gun versus my hair dryer? You know, I have that awesome different heat guns out there because I'm, you know, all about quick and instant satisfaction. So I thought heat gun's going to work great. This is what happens. The difference when you're using your hair dryer, it's a slower melt. So you can see how this is kind of set in place and you get the nice drizzle kind of right on the canvas. And these are kind of splattered out because of the way I was aiming my hair dryer and the direction my crayons were aimed at. This was using my heat gun. And as you'll notice, um, what happened is it heated up so fast that it kind of liquefied it so much that I ended up with a giant pool at the bottom, but I didn't get as much really cool melting through here. But you still thought it was cool, yeah. didn't you? It depends on what you like, because you can do either or. Right, so give it a try. And of course, this is one of those crafts you're gonna wanna try different, test it out. Don't, it may not work the first time. It might be beautiful the first time. In fact, this was uh, our first attempt, or Emma's first attempt. I think she did an amazing job. So she's gonna show us how to put together this fun board, and then we're gonna show you what happens when we melt it. So what do we do next, Emma? 
Well, you have to get a hot glue gun and just glue the back side of a crayon or the front side, it depends on what you want. So either the color will show the name of the color or the logo crayon, right? Yeah. And then it depends you, on what you want. So This was a question I had. I couldn't figure out on a lot of the posts if they had glued the crayons down, but the one that I referenced, she does hot glue them in place. She also doubled up quite a few of the colors, didn't she, like we did yeah. on this? You'll see. So you get that nice, thicker color melt. So and the rainbow effect. That cool rainbow effect. These are at, This one's actually created with our leftover crayons, huh? Yeah. We went through a whole box of, what was it, six, uh, 84? 96. Oh, 96 crayons doing this project. We needed another one. So now what do we do next? I'm going to hold this for you, and you're going to yes. hair dry it? Yeah. So you want it on high or low? You want to add the heat on high, but you want... The blowing mm. action? Yeah. <laughs> on low. On low, yeah. Okay, great. Why don't you go ahead and do that for us, and we'll show them what happens. That takes a little bit of time. Yeah. But look how much fun that is. I loved how the different, you can still see it a little drizzly over here, but it went hard right away over there, didn't it? And you can control it. The one thing I should mention is make sure you have a surface that you're not gonna be too upset when you get crayon splatter or melted crayon on. Here I'm using the Basil Basic Splat Mat, and I love how nothing sticks to it. It's easy to clean up. So that was pretty awesome. And I hope everyone gives it a try. If you have some crayons laying around your house, um, give this a shot. You might have a lot of fun. And I would suggest if you're going to let your kids do it, maybe a little supervision, you're going to have crayon stuff stuck everywhere in your house. And we all know that's a pain to get off the furniture and stuff. So join me next week. We're going to be showing you some fun ideas on how to create your own labels to get organized.